I am number four, movie thoughts. So after the being, Bernie, turns from a not at all CGI'd little lizard into Bernie the dog, would it have been too much to ask if it had made some indication that it was in fact a guardian, you know, another guardian? Is the next movie going to come up with a third type of guardian? Anyway, once it does transform in front of Sam, presenting a tongue, I'm really hoping that thing with you know, all the spikes protruding from it was its tongue. Otherwise, I feel really bad for the females of its species. It was a pretty cool fight. One thing, afterwards it turns back into Bernie the dog, and we can see that its paw, you know, it's like has a little bit of damage. You know, it it isn't that the dog trainer just told the dog pretend like this leg doesn't work so well. Did it actually? hop on three legs all the way from the high school to where they were because they seemed a little like, oh, right, it's there. It, it didn't seem like they had brought it, or maybe that's just me. I really hope that they didn't, like, completely forget because it kind of did save their asses. The number six. She was irritating, and I really have to wonder why was she in the movie that little? It was like, you know, every 20 minutes or so there was a brief clip reminding us that she was there. You know, you relatively quickly figure out, oh, she's not with the Mogadorians, and she's you know, cleaning up after herself, I guess, with, you know, blowing up that... You know, at first I was kind of wondering if she was the resident angsty teenage girl, but... okay. So... Only... By the time they got to number six, did someone actually think to... I mean, not even number five. Only number six out of, what, nine, realized, hey, we're the only ones who can stop these Mogadorians. Maybe we should actually try fighting them. And maybe we should, you know, band together so that they aren't just hunting us down one by one in order for some reason. If they can only hunt them down in order, then why not, you know, band together at least the last couple of numbers, you know, and just, you know, actually start fighting back, you know. Only at the very end of the movie does that seem to occur to people, or L Lorians, or whatever. The beings from the See, that, that, that would have been my first thought. Okay, I get that maybe they only recently, you know, became teenagers, or 20-year-olds playing teenagers, but what about the Guardians? Why didn't they think of it? Why, why didn't they, like, stay in touch? They just, they realized that, you know, apparently everyone from number four and up now with the death of number three, realize that, hey, they found him. He was off the map. They still found him. They didn't even have any trouble killing him. Yeah. And yet, no one, you know, Henry doesn't contact the other Guardians and say, hey, wanna team up, see if we can, you know, be a little proactive in this whole endeavor? Yeah. Also, why does Henry 
for seemingly having John on such a short leash, leash, why does he forgive all these, you know, we, you know, the dinner thing, we see that, oh, there are like three missed calls, and yet this is never brought up again, you know, it's never, seriously, when they fight, you know, when, you know, the, John stops the block of wood, and Henry, you know, grabs him, and I was seriously thinking that there was going to be like, see, this is how easily I got a hold of you. What do you think the Mogadorians? The Mogadorians are bringing guns, if he knew that, at least. <laughs> you can't be this out of control. You have to be more careful, you know. So, the... The whole thing with the quarterback, why was he so okay with John at the very end? I get that John did save Sarah like two or three times over in the last 45 minutes or so of the film. I guess it's good that he didn't accidentally pull up Spider-Man with, you know, the telekinesis breaking her fall. But seriously, psychology would seem to dictate that that kind of guy would still be all, you know, get away from her and, you know, don't... Yeah. I suppose it is nice that he wasn't a complete villain because, you know, basically... He's like a guy that's been dumped, you know, that's his character towards Sarah. That's just kind of, you know, he's still into her, and yeah. Okay, so he sends, you know, ninjas after her, but still. That also seemed like it would have made more sense if it had been, like, college, and those were, like, pledges, or there was some kind of... I don't know, but I guess they were just, like, a football buddies. The big flying thing... I I liked I liked it okay. Also, weren't there at least two in the film? It, I mean, in that last bit, like, didn't one of them go into the school and the other one? Yeah. It seems like the movie. I can't quite decide if it wants to build up something. I mean, we didn't know there was more than one in that, you know, large truck, and there wasn't really any indication that Bernie the dog could turn into, you know, Bernie the cat-like monster dog. So, yeah, it just, stuff kind of came out of nowhere, and, you know, from, there's like 30 seconds of screen time between John's powers manifesting themselves, and him having them under perfect control, you know. He can turn them on and off, like flashlights. I do also call BS on how he could apparently get away with them manifesting during that class. Oh, yeah, the flashlight thing. Oh, yeah, that was a dumb stunt. Uh, yeah, no one at all saw that the light was emanating from his hands, no one noticed the whole, I don't know. So, number six, I guess her power was like a teleportation kind of thing, which is also entirely unlike Jumper. 
But then she seemed to appear at roughly the same place that she disappeared, at least some of the times. I mean, it wasn't like she was teleporting behind them. She just kind of disappeared. They, you know, stood there, oh, where is she? And then she reappeared in more or less the same place. So, yeah. It was also nice of John to gamble with you know, both of their lives there at the end. You know, oh, okay, I'll just, you know, open these grenades in his face and hope that she'll turn out to be fireproof. Yeah. I really think this movie would have been far better if the whole using powers thing had been actually put to some kind of use earlier on in the film, other than just being, you know, making him into a freak for the others. I mean, excuse me, there wasn't really much of any kind of conflict b before the very end where, you know, it just goes completely nuts. Yeah. I do believe that's everything that I really have to say, so if there's something I didn't bring up that you'd like to hear my opinion on, let me know. See you next time.